I can't say it right. All right, I guess this is another thing I'm supposed to put up. Apparently, if you look at the eagle um, on our dollar bill and on the American flag and shit like that, and you look at the arrows in one hand and the olive branch in the other hand, uh, or the leafy branch in the other hand, you could say the leafy branch has something to do with Caesar. You could say that the arrows have something to do with the Indian Native Americans that they used to hunt with, with bow and arrows. I have no clue because you've never been back then, so you never know. But anyway, you could also say that it has something to do with the uh, fire arrows of Satan. And somehow you could also say that uh, that uh, the, the, the what do you call it, the fertile leaves that are part of the crown or or the the branches that they're holding so you can say that's a peace branch or something like that that they're holding is a sun is a sign of uh or a symbol of of the kings that have prospered over the land and they all may be of the lineage of cain who slew abel and was able to succeed after that apparently all of god's children die at a young age or some shit like that while Satan's children are taking over the world. So there's a legacy in this world to, uh, to what do you call it? And this is politics because you could say that uh, Krishna is the son of God and you can't tell me when he died. You can say Buddha is the son of God. You can say Frederick Douglass is the son of God. You can say a lot of people are. You can say Tupac is, but he died. You can say Malcolm X was. You can say Martin Luther King was. But you could also say that they toying with his uh, image. So back to if man is God, because if you really think about it, you can have a village, uh, nurture a person to represent the village. And he could become an ambassador, maybe a preacher, something like that. So he could be a forebearer to the outside world or some shit. That, so back to... You could turn somebody, a village can turn somebody and say, so if you got the whole world trying to do something collectively, you can all be God and collect, create a person who is God. And if everybody's trying to create, say, Satan's God now, then we're all agreeing that Satan's God or some shit like that. Even though he kills some of the destroyer, making all this noise, running up and down to see who can devour and all this other shit. And the same thing you can say with Jesus. But apparently, apparently Jesus uh uh likes being gay or some shit. Or something. <clears throat> I really don't know, but apparently one of the big notes of all this is uh you take somebody who doesn't know anything and then you put them against somebody who apparently knows something. If you know how to uh start a fire, but you 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 talk to a kid. And tell them uh, to start this fire. Then basically, uh, if you know how to start a fire, you have to go one leg up on this little kid, and basically you become somebody who can gamble against them and win on uh, on the notion that you probably know something that they don't know, and they may never learn if it's not convenient enough for them to learn. And that's probably why we're in the modern days, uh, uh, supposedly living up in a worldly world instead of a spiritual world or some other shit and you can't say they're selling spirituality you can't say that uh you can't say that uh they spell it, they're selling worldliness um uh, i was told that in a dream that uh you know the history that black people used to have that was probably destroyed when they came over here and were turned into slaves will probably be restored restored well something out there probably re, re, uh, something out there probably recorded all the all the births deaths kidnappings murders all the fucking insanity that that took place back then and and you can't say it's taking place right now but it's just up in a different way where it's recorded differently or or in, in, in about 100 years it'll probably be made known somehow but right now, since we're living in it, it's, 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 it's a veil over our eyes because we, we're too blindsided by the fact that we're actually having a good life or we have a job or some other bullshit we have a commitment toward or whatever you want to say because it's all politics. 
It's a whole bunch of nonsense. And as if you don't care about your brother man well enough to, to save their lives, then you don't care enough about God or whatever hell. It, it, it's, it's just a whole bunch of uh, Satan always wins. Now, to be honest with you, I don't even have to know you and I could break in your house. I could probably slaughter everybody in the house. I could steal everything. And I might even be able to get away with it. And that would mean the Satan wins. But at the same time, since I'm saying this on the phone and all this other shit, that would make me uh, easy to be caught. So God wins or the, 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 no, the system wins. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of bullshit. And it's all based on the Bible. Now, if you think about it, uh, you want to get children crystal clear water? And you want to get children clear water? And you did it to the children, so you did it to me? Well, they got a whole bunch of kids getting murdered and all this other shit, so apparently they're doing it to Jesus. And uh, I guess there's a reason. <coughs> uh, he's, uh, supposed to come back with a vengeance. Or something like that. And his boy is Satan, so. Might be. And uh, Satan may have saved his soul. And since Satan seems to be a lot smarter than uh, me, because he uh, is able to accept a lot more um, BS or is open minded, more open minded than me. And you can say that, you can say that to a whole bunch of BS. Uh, then he's probably given more responsibility because he has a lot of money and all this other crap. A lot of people working for him. I'm literally alone. I'm literally alone. So I'm probably not capable of handling anything beyond myself based on a, the social stigmas or however this, this system wants to view you. If you actually a person who, who lives on the street because you buy yourself because it's, uh, let's say, rent is $1,500 a month, then you actually have a problem. But you can claim to have a mental illness to try to get it fixed. And that's somehow agreeing that that you uh, fall into this broke ass joke where you uh, you 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 let them label you and then they run along with it and drug you up and all this other shit. And you end up in this perpetual loop of of whatever the fuck insanity that this is. And you could actually draw your family into it based on you trying to survive off of this broke ass shit. A piece of land could cost like a thousand dollars. It costs five thousand dollars. It don't have to necessarily cost $100,000, but it does. And you'd have to work 20 years to get that $100,000 piece of land, 10 years to get that $100,000 piece of land, uh, making one third of your rent from work and half of your uh, the rest going towards food and uh, and and maintenance of things. So it, it's, 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 a, it's a perpetual uh, hamster wheel of getting nowhere. And you literally got a goal where you never obtain. And I don't even know how to put it. So Satan wins every time. You know what ignorance is? Ignorance is not knowing something. And not knowing something is, uh, is they could change the laws right now. So you, you, you don't know what the fuck's going on with the law. They got so many things, so many layers of confusion with, from the law, federal, local, state. Uh, to to regulations, to neighborhood uh, apartment uh, regulations. You, you, you got to know all this shit. You got to know school. You have to know church. You, know, you just, you just got to know this confounding amount of information. And then and then any pleasure that you have, like watching television, uh, it goes out. The, it's, it's, it's too much retardation. And your entire life is committed to it. So that if you are, uh, if you actually, if you actually try, for example, to live a simple life, you live next to the beach, go grab some food from the ocean, grow some food on the land. You can't do that, but you got to sign a contract uh, with the government. And they don't necessarily have to fucking agree with you or protect you. And if they do sign a contract with you, they have jurisdiction to come over your land and, and do what the fuck they will with you. Uh, so that it's, it's, uh, it, it, it's so that they, they maintain their authority over you and what you have. Who ever gave the government the authority to be above the people that they're governing? Uh, based on what I understand, they saying the forefathers did. And I'm not sure where they get that, got that authority from. But it works like a charm. They had faith. And we're all living in that dream. I can't say slavery came from it. 